we're going to do writing quadratic equations. There are two forms of the quadratic equation in which it is normally written. One is the standard form and the other is the vertex form. Standard here is in blue, vertex is in green. When do you use each form? Well, when you are given the vertex and at least one other point on the parabola, use the vertex form. That's the easiest one. When you are given at least three points on the parabola, none of them are identified as the vertex. Doesn't mean that one isn't, but none of them are identified as the vertex. You're going to write the equation in standard form. First, let's do the vertex form. If you're given, the ver given that the vertex is negative one, negative four, and the point two, five also lies on the parabola, what is the equation of the parabola? Well, first, recall what the vertex form is. y equals a, x minus h, quantity squared plus k. h and k are the vertex. This means that we take h and we plug it in, and we take k and we plug it in. That means we're left with just a. So we have y equals a, x minus negative one quantity squared plus negative four. Simplifying that down, we have y equals a times the quantity x plus one squared minus four. Well, we want the equation in terms of x and y. So that means we've got to figure out what a equals. For that, we need one other point. That's where our handy dandy point two five comes in. We plug the two in for the x, and the five in for the y. Now we have one unknown, and that's a. We solve for a using normal algebraic equation solving. We take and add the two and the one, you get three. Notice that the three is the only thing being squared here. Three squared is nine. You still have the minus four, and you still have the five. Add four to both sides, divide both sides by nine, and in this case, a equals one. So now we substitute back in our h, our k, and our a value. In this particular case, we don't actually have to use the one. If I were going to write this equation, I would simply write y equals x plus one quantity squared minus four. Remember that if I wanted to graph this, I would go left one, down four. Then I would use my one, one, two, four pattern. Remember, x squared, one squared is one, two squared is four. So this is my parent pattern. And I could then graph this parabola. Now, if I want to get this particular equation into vertex form, I have to do a little bit of work, but it's not hard, and it's all just basic algebra one. I have x plus one quantity squared minus four. This is vertex form. First thing I'm going to do is multiply the binomial, and some of you know that as FOIL. So I have y equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. x times x is x squared plus an x plus an x is the 2x plus 1 is the plus 1. Then I have my minus 4. And over here, I'll just put this down because I know some people haven't done it in a while. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. 1 times x is x. 1 times 1 is 1. Here's where you get your 2x. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. y equals x squared plus 2x, 1 minus 4 is minus 3. This is now standard form. So really going from getting the vertex and then going to the standard form is actually very easy. The catch is you have to know the vertex, the point that's the vertex. Okay, 
what if you're given the points 1, 0, negative 1, negative 4, and negative 4, 5? And you want to know the equation of the parabola. You know they all lie on the parabola, but you don't know what the equation is. You don't know what one, if any of them, are the vertex. The easiest way is to use what we call quadratic regression. Okay, quadratic regression. You're going to use the calculator. So, let's, I will do this. You can pause, screenshot, screen print, look at this, and then you can move on. I'm going to actually do this with you with the calculator right here. So, again, we have to turn the calculator on, and we're going to quit out of our previous graphing. Now, I'm going to go and press STAT, that's this button here, and I want to edit a list, so I just hit enter. I've got list one and list two. My X's are going to go in list one, my Y's in list two. So I'm simply going to put in one, and then negative one, and then negative four. Those are the X's, one, negative one, and negative four. I'm going to move over to list two. I'm going to put in the corresponding Y values. So next to one, I have to put zero. So I put in zero and I hit enter. Then I put in negative four because that's what goes with negative one. And then I put in five because that's what goes with negative four. Now I have my X's in list one, my Y's in list two. You don't have to do anything to store them, they're stored. I simply press STAT. Now I'm going to come over here and calculate because I want to calculate the quadratic equation. So I'm going to do quadratic regression, which is down here. If you can see it, it's number five. You've done linear regression in Algebra 1. We're now going to do quadratic regression. So I hit Enter. My X's are in list one, yes. My Y's are in list two. Yes. We don't care about the frequency list right now. If I want to store this equation, because maybe I want to see what it looks like graphed, I can do that. The way you would store the equation, I want to store the equation in a variable. So I press VARS. I want to store the equation in a Y variable. I want it to be Y equals. And it is, in fact, a function. So I hit Enter. And since this is the first one, I'm going to store it in Y1. So I hit enter again. So this is vars. You would arrow over to y vars and then hit enter twice. And you can store your equation in y1. This can be helpful later for graphing it or making predictions. Then I come down and I hit calculate. And it comes up and it says that y equals a x squared plus bx plus c, where a is 1, b is 2, and c is negative 3. So I simply would write in y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. That's my equation. I substitute the a, b, and c. The calculator will give you the coefficients of the equation. So again, it's all written down here. x is in list 1, y is in list 2. Go to quadratic regression, and there's your equation. Okay. Here are some to try. Given that c is equal to negative 2 and the vertex is negative 2, negative 6, and here's another point. Standard form, quadratic form. Well, standard form, let's just do, oops, let's see if I can, there we go, get this little guy back. I can go back to stat, I can edit my list, I can come up here and clear this list. I can go over here and I can clear this list. Oops, go up. Sorry, I have to clear it. And then I hit enter. Now, standard form, C equals negative 2. Remember that my y-intercept is the C value, so I know that this C, this is going to be negative 2. I also know that it's the point 0, negative 2. Oops. Let's 
clear this. Zero, enter. Over here we get negative two, enter. Then I was given negative two, negative six is the vertex. And then I was given a third point. You have to have third points to define a quadratic is negative four and negative two. I can now, now I've got my x's in list one, y's in list two. The only tricky part here is you've got to recognize your y-intercept. If you're giving your y-intercept, the x-coordinate is zero. So I can come back here and I can hit stat. I can calculate a quadratic regression. List one, list two. And I'm just going to calculate, well, I'll come back up here. I can store it in vars, y vars. It's a function, y1. And then I come down here and I calculate. 1, 4, negative 2. So this should be x squared plus 4x minus 2, which is what I have right here. Now, the vertex form, remember? You're given the vertex right here, so I can put in the negative 2 for my h and the negative 6 for my k. I don't want to jump ahead just yet, and that's what I did. And I solved it, and then I have that a is equal to 1. Since a is equal to 1, I have the vertex form of the equation. These two equations are equivalent equations. Now, I could just as easily have gotten the vertex form, then foiled this one to get the vertex form. I didn't have to use quadratic regression. I could get that y is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 6. Combining these two, oops, if I can extend my page a little bit for myself, maybe. Gives me x squared plus 4x minus 2, which is the same thing. So if you forget how to do the calculator, you can always expand your vertex form. Okay, find each quadratic given the information below. Okay, here it says use quadratic regression for these and these. For this one, I gave you the vertex and a point. Pause, try it, see what you get. Really, pause, try it. You've got to practice this. Okay, we're back. Take a look. Were you successful? Now notice, this is vertex. So if you just ask for the vertex form, that's what I want. This down here is the standard form. If you needed both, you could just convert. I'd like for you to notice that the A values are exactly the same, whether it's vertex or standard form. Now these, you simply put the X's in list one, Y's in list two, did stat, calc, quadratic regression, and you should have gotten these, these answers. Again, it would have given you A is 2, B is 8, C is 10. A is negative 1, B is negative 4, C is negative 6. A is 1, B is negative 8, C is 17. In summary, for this first lesson of quadratics, to find the x-intercepts, solutions, roots, zeros of a quadratic function by graphing um, oops. Graphically, the quadratic equation must first be set to equal to zero. Then you graph the quadratic by hand or using a graphing calculator. You have to be able to do both. You will then identify the location or locations, if any, where the curve, the parabola, crosses the x-axis, crosses or touches. The second trace button can be pressed out to access the calculate menu on the calculator. The second option, zero, will step you through identifying the x-intercepts. 
to write the quadratic equation given the vertex and a point on the parabola. Plug in the given vertex into the uh, template. Simplify. Plug in the x and the y coordinates from the, give, from the second point and solve for a. Then substitute back in a, h, and k. You've got the vertex form. Now to get it into uh, standard form, you'll need to multiply, you'll need to square the binomial, the h, the x minus h, distribute the a, and then combine your like terms. Now, if you're given a quadrat, or if you're given three points that lie on the parabola, but none of them are identified as the vertex, simply use quadratic regression. Plug your x's into list one, your y's into list two, stat, calc, quadratic regression give you your A, your B, your C. Don't forget, if you are given the y-intercept of a quadratic, then you know that that point is 0, comma, the y-value, so you're actually given a point. Alrighty, that's it. That's it for Lesson 1 with Quadratics. Some of it's review from Algebra 1, some of it's a little new. Have fun.